Let's look how we can create a crosshair that will work nicely, including when you're hovering on a tooltip, or if you refresh, you can see it will work immediately. So let's start to look how we can create a crosshair in Chart.js 4. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we need to make sure we have the boiler template here. If you don't have this, just check out here, chartjs3.com, getting started, this link, which you can find as well in the description box. And once shown here, copy this chunk of code here. Next, if you want to get the source code and support my channel, check out my Patreon page here. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to start to convert this into a line chart because I think a crosshair makes more sense on a line chart. So we're going to say line chart, refresh, there we are. Now we have this here. And what I want to do is I want to have a crosshair. And more importantly, this crosshair should work as well if we have a tool tip. So let's start to work on this. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to say comma here. We're going to create a new plugin. And I'm going to say your plugins. And then we can say here a... Uh, Hoover crosshair, for example, but you can give it anything you want. Copy this and then go to say here slash slash Hoover crosshair plugin block. And then what I want to do here, I need what we call hoisting. I need a specific value because that value will be later on needed to be transferred into two specific functions. So I'm going to say the lat and then cross here. But because it's hoisting, I will leave the values blank. And later on, I will assign a value to this. Then what I want to do is I want to say here constant. I say here the Hoover cross here. And now we can give it an ID, same name. And then we have two parts. So let me just say your first part will be the drawing. And that drawing will be, we'll, we'll skip that for now. We will just jump first to the uh, second part. And the reason why is we need to have the interaction working first. Once that works, then we can start to draw the item because we're splitting these two parts and making sure that they're both separate. So the second part is the interaction that we want or more specifically, what we will do after the mouse hover event. So we're going to say here after event and then what we can say here, the chart and the arguments. Then a, um, well, we can just, no need for a function error expression, but that this is just a function here. And then what I want to do here is an object destructuring. If you don't understand object destructuring, I have a video in the description box, understanding charges, uh, object destructuring, very useful to know. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say here the CTX, comma, and I'm going to say here the chart area, and say left, right, width, height. Um, maybe we can just say here, top and bottom, I don't need the width and the height. And then once I have that equal chart object. All right, now we have this here. What I want to do first of all is to explore these arguments because I need basically our mouse coordinates. The moment we hover over this, we should have our mouse coordinates extracted. So what I will say here, console log, args, save, refresh, open up the developer tab. And you can see here, we're already getting it. And if I, if a refresh you can see here it shows all the events and our coordinates if i look here in events you can see here x and y these are the exact coordinates of the position of my mouse when i mouse over on the chart or on the canvas so what i want to do here is to give them a proper name because you can see how they are located they're located in let's go one more time back in the events and then x and y so dot events dot x for example so what I will say here, constant x coordinate equals, and then we can just grab this here. And I will say here, constant y core equals the events, but then the y uh, coordinate. All right, so now we have this here. That looks already nice. We can start to work now on drawing the item. And what we want to do is we have here the crosshair values, but what we have to do is to create a line or basically two lines, one line starting from left to right and uh, from top to bottom, but depending on our mouse coordinates and the other one exactly the opposite from top to bottom and then the left and right will be depending on our mouse coordinates. So that's very important to understand because we're going to create this now. So what I want to do here is I want to put here enter as here, cross here or well, before we even do that, probably it's better to first check when we are within our chart area. So let's do that first. So we're going to say here, if, and we can say here, and this is a quite nice one. If I have here, 
the arguments you can see in chart area as well true meaning if i'm on there it is true and if i'm outside of it it will be false this information will be very useful for us now because i want to only draw the crosshair the moment we are in the chart area not outside of it so what i'm going to say here if the arguments or if not arguments dot uh, in chart area so basically what you're saying here now is if it's not in there i'll just say a console log and then say here no and then we have another one and else if then we can just i guess just put it in there if this is true in that case i want to do here something but let's put it in here and just say yes first let's save that refresh and now oh, all right we get an uncut error type error so let's see where is the error here on this area here uh am i correct uh args events or maybe it's not events let me double check is it events or is it event without the s i guess that's the case let's see what's the issue all right so if i go on the hoover here event without the s my bad so make sure we have this here without the s all right that's better so now we have this working save that again refresh and all i want to know is if we are yes or no yes no so in the chart area yes outside of it this here is outside the chart area it is a no because chart area starts at this basically within this square here or rectangle here all right so this is now all confirmed and all up and running so what i want to do now is the following I'm going to assign the crosshair coordinates, but the coordinates must be in here. And afterwards, what we want to do after the event, we want to do something to trigger a drawing of this coordinate. So what I'm going to do now here is we're going to say yeah, the crosshair. And we don't have to use here let or constant because we already assigned here because we're just doing the hoisting of it. We're going to just push the values up. So what we're going to do here, this is an array. And in this array, we're going to put in here a value or uh, like an object. And what I want here is four specific items. First of all, I will have the starting X because we're going to make a line or basically two lines. Starting X and then the starting X will be based on our coordinates, our mouse coordinates. Here, wherever I am on my mouse, I want to have, for example, a horizontal or not even horizontal line. The vertical line first let's make the vertical line so if my mouse is here the line from top to bottom will be like that and will follow my mouse so what i'm going to say here um we do this one on the x core because this will follow the mouse comma then we say here start y and later on i will explain where we're going to apply apply this because that will be in the set in the first part so then we're going to say here this will be here on the top that's why we have this because we want to start at the very top of here of wherever my mouse would be then we're going to say here uh, end this is the end x will be on the same position as the mouse and finally we have here end y and that will be to the very bottom all right so we have this one but i want to make two specific lines so what i'm going to do is it's going to copy all of this put it in here remove this comma at the end but here we're going to swap them because this one follows our mouse from the vertical level. And now we need to follow our mouse from the horizontal level. Meaning we will make a line from left to right on the X or left and right. And if you're wondering where I get these, remember we had here these values. So I'm just grabbing these. But then this will be our Y coordinate and down will be also our Y coordinate. So once we did this, what I want to do now is uh, do something else in here because here I need to do something more to make sure that we have our crosshair removed if we're outside of the chart area this is very important so I'm going to say and we have a crosshair so we have the value what I want to do is if we do or don't doesn't really matter but what I do want to make sure is that the crosshair value will be set on undefined meaning remove it or remove the lines because we don't want to draw these lines so if ever we move out of it 
it might still have this crosshair values of this in memory. So we want to reset it and say, we have no more values in there. That's basically what we're doing here. So once we did that, then uh, what we need to do more is to indicate one more thing here. And let me just show you, this is a very important one as well. Console log arcs, say refresh the hover over. Let's see if we can find it here. You cannot find it here, but we're going to say here arcs dot, uh, if I'm not mistaken, changed. Changed with D. And what will happen with the change, it will redraw the item. So we say arcs dot changed equals true. By doing this, we will say, all right, we have this function, do something, and that will be in the first part. That's basically the communication of it. That's the first one here. Let's remove the yes and no console logs. And the same works for here below. Uh, after we have the crosshair information, you can see here that it says after this, put in this here. We save this, refresh. Nothing, of course, happens yet, but you will see here now, we have here changed equals true, and that allows us to redraw specifically something in charge.js. All right, now we have that part. I think we're good to go for the final part, which is part, the first part, or the redrawing of our chart. So what I'm going to say here, when would I like to draw the crosshair? Well, I want to make sure that when we have the tooltip, the tooltip will show on top of everything, but also this data set here should be shown on top of the crosshair. So the crosshair will be behind everything. So we say here before data sets draw. In that case, we're going to say here chart, comma, arcs, and we can do plugins, but although we don't need that one, so we could remove it as well. So once we did this, what I want to do here is to check the following. First of all, I want to say check if we have a crosshair. Do we have that? Yes or no? We should have something here. And if we do have what I want, basically it will check here if it's defined or not. If it's undefined, of course, you cannot draw anything. And if it has a cross here, which is basically all the values in here being, being transferred here up. And then what I want to do here is start to draw the item. To draw this, we have here the cross here, but we have to make sure, and that's uh, the one that I will just do here above the ID. I'm going to say the events that I want, basically the one that I want to follow is the mouse move event. Very important. This event should be the one we track because we're moving around with the mouse cursor. So then what I want to do here, if we have this, we can do here maybe a constant for the, because we want to draw something in the chart area. So it's a constant or this is just an object destructuring because we want to draw something in the canvas. So then in here, I'm going to say ctx.save to save all variables above. And now what I can do here, because we have here an array, an array with an object in here, we can do a for each loop. So what I'm going to do here, for every crosshair value, I say dot for each. So we have a loop. And then what I'm going to say here, I will call this the line. And we can do here index, and I think we don't need that one, but just in case, we can always remove it afterwards. So every line, which is a shorthand, let me just show you here, console log, line, save, refresh. All right, now we're getting some issues here. Uh, 96, let me double check after event, 96. What are we missing here? All right. Very simple mistake, my bad. I forgot to put a comma here. Of course, we need to make sure we have a comma. Save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have all of this here. I guess we have the console log as well. As you can see here, if I hover, it will trigger the console log, and then you see here our information of the line, of both lines here. And now we can start to draw them. So what I'm going to do here is very straightforward. We're going to give it a color. So first of all, or let's say here, first of all, ctx.begin path, because I want to draw a line that is independent of anything else. You have to do this or else the line might be connected to some other part on the chart. So you want to avoid that. This is the way to do that. The next thing what I want to do here is I want to have a uh, thickness of the line. So we say ctx.line width. This can be three pixels in thickness. Next, what I want here is the 
uh, color. So it's a CTX dot stroke style, and we can give this the official uh, color, uh, the gray color that they have. So that's RGBA 102, 102, 102, and let's say one. So that's the color. And then once we have that, we want to start drawing. So what I want to do here then is because we are going to create basically uh, two lines. But we have a starting point and an ending point, and that's what we're going to define. So we're going to say a CTX dot move to, and this coordinates here gives us the X and Y coordinates of the starting point. And that could be if we're going to draw, well, it depends. We're going to grab these values here automatically because we have test here. So we can just say here the X value is basically the line, and then we say a dot, and let's grab here our start x, because that's the starting x. This is the starting y. So what I can do here, exactly the same, do this one here, but then start y. So that's the first starting point. The next thing what I want to do is we can copy this, but I would say just type this because we have a slight difference in writing, which is the line tool. This is the move tool will define the starting dot, and this is the line tool which will define where the line will go forward to and we can just copy all of this but just change the start to end afterwards so we're going to say a line end and then here start will be replaced with end as well once you do this if you save this of course nothing happens yet the reason why this here is a intention to draw we still need to give it a command to draw so i'm going to say here ctx dot stroke to draw the canvas lines save that refresh and there we are so what I want to do as final item here is to just to make sure that we restore everything or reset it basically. So we say ctx.restore. So it will undo whatever we just did for any other shape or something like that. So to avoid that those things will bleed over. So that's what we're doing here. And you can see here now, and if I hover over these two tips here, you will see that the crosshair will still respond nicely. If you want to say, well, I would like to have this cross here on the very top. No worries, we can do that as well. We can just say here, we're going to say here, after we draw the data set, then we're going to draw our cross here. And now you can see here, we are just on top of these data points. Absolutely wonderful. And that's it.